you're joining us here on a fresh new edition of Melt. I'm Ritvika Gupta and on the show today we'll be speaking to two very important people from Hava's group. We'll be starting the show with an insightful conversation with Jacques Sagela and Anand had a chat with him. Hey Anand. Hello. Anand, uh, Jacques is you know one of the world's leading advertising prodigies. So he has literally seen uh, the advertising business change over the years. So what was your conversation like with him and uh, what did he say? Uh, we started with where advertising is headed. Uh, from understanding uh, uh, the role of uh, data, attention span, the balance of power between continents. So we started off there, then we came down to India and mm -hmm. to understand what plans they had for India and uh, you know, uh, spoke about his, their previous avatars in India and where it's gone mm -hmm. and why he thinks this will be different and better. Right. Havas is very strong in uh, France and Spain. So what was his take on uh, when it comes to the group in India? Well, fundamentally he believed that they had made a mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, Havas has been here for a long, long time and I've seen them being born in India and then becoming mm -hmm. from, uh, you know, Euro RSG back to Havas. You had Ishan Rena who started it, then Suman Srivastava who headed it. Uh, they've had a long, quiet success with media. You know, Havas media success, Anita Nair, runs it and does a damn good job and that's quiet and it stayed quiet for reasons I don't understand mm -hmm. but you know they've had the ups and downs on the creative business uh, and hopefully in this new avatar we'll see a difference. Right and before we get to the conversation uh, we are speaking to him in French so why did we speak to him in French? Uh, we are not speaking to him, he's speaking in French, I'm speaking in English. Right. I think you know I met Jacques uh, at the end of a long day, he was tired and uh, I thought it would be much easier for him to talk in the language that he thinks in. And he thinks in French. Uh, much as we see, you know, the greatest footballers in the world, you know, Messi and Ronaldo and so on, they speak in a language they're comfortable in. So I thought it'll be easier and we'll get more out of him uh, when uh, he speaks in his own language, and which is what we've done. But for the benefit of our viewers, you know, we must also emphasize that the interview has been paired up in English. Let's quickly dive into the conversation. Uh, let's get ready to melt with Jacques Segela. So Jacques, welcome to India. <laughs> Thank you. You can answer in French. Uh, tell us what is your vision for the future of the uh, engagement between customers and brands? D'abord, parlons de l'Inde. Speaking of India, I believe profoundly that contrary to what we may think, it is no longer China's time. China has already accomplished its transformation. Even America, which has become an abstract island governed by a curious president, has done so. And considering the current decline of Europe, there are risks that may lead to the annihilation of Europe, for example with the Brexit. So it is India's time now. For me, India is the country of the century. It is her moment. Every country has its time. Fifty years ago, it was Japan's time. Then it was China's time. Now it is India's turn. It is important to not miss this shift. All leading countries have had their turn experiencing a technological shift. It is technology that advances the world. But one ignores the passage of time. It is like poetry. One ignores the creativity. In a world that reinvents itself, it must pay attention to being a hybrid. Because as soon as technology stops affecting us, it is the death of humanity. As soon as there is advertising without an idea, it leads to the death of advertising. This is why it is necessary that for huge American groups, the Googles, the Apples, the Amazons, to put in their heart, values, emotion and passion into their technology. If they do not, the technology will fail and will transform man into a robot. It transformera les hommes en robots. Okay, so uh, Jacques, tell me, what is the responsibility of all these uh, major technology companies, such as Facebook, Amazon, Twitter, in the area of of uh, engagement with, brand, with consumers. C'est le plus grand hold-up du siècle. It is a plan that goes beyond the century and well beyond the present. Without asking anyone for their opinion or permission, the audience gives their most personal details without being paid for it. These corporates own the data and they have made their fortunes based on these personal details. I'd value these personal details at nearly 2,000 euros every year. That is 50,000 euros during the lifetime of an individual. This is a significant sum of money that every life loses. 
and which is stolen by organizations like Google, Apple, Amazon or Facebook. It's frightening, but it gets worse. There is a Barbie doll that was invented six or seven years ago that captures the first steps of our babies, the first words of our babies and so on. And this information is then stored in the cloud and can be brought up again in 10 to 20 years to be manipulated. That's why we must fight against this from now on, before it's too late. How should India fight back? India must fight exactly the way China did, by creating its own tech businesses similar to the Googles, Apples, Amazons and Facebooks. Create its own technical block the way Korea is doing, which is a very small country when compared to India. India has many of the best mathematicians in the world and the best engineers in the world. I believe that one third of American engineers, those working in organizations like Google, Apple, Amazon or Facebook are Indians and one in three of the rest are French. Our countries have done enough to redefine ourselves and why not therefore to have such a synergy that we could have organizations like the Googles, Apples, Amazons, Facebooks which would be Indian and at the same time French, that is European. It's a difficult task, so we may need to work together. Even though the ban on the export of data was done in Europe, it's not like nothing has been stolen since then, because now there are laws that are to be followed in all countries. I think there is a lot of good intent between the Indians and the French, which has not yet culminated into a good relationship. But it would be great to see a European-Indian synergy built to fight against the existing organizations like the Googles, Apples, Amazons or Facebooks. They Jaffa exist now. Now people are saying that the attention span of, of young people is shrinking and you can't do storytelling in the long form. What is your reaction to storytelling? What is the future of storytelling? It's the future. Uh, because... No, uh, wait, I'm wait, wait, wait. So, uh, Le storytelling, c'est le futur. Storytelling is the future. Now, the 20th century was the era of reason. It was dominated by reason and then by America, which is the country of reason. But to the French, we are the descendants of Descartes, who was a rational man. In the 21st century, it is the media that wields the most power. The 20th century saw political power, but it is the media in the 21st century. The media is the one that manipulates public emotion. It used to be that the television would be on all day long, but it is TV, cinema, music and all that is produced for entertainment that creates emotion. We are being deluged in emotions and it is overpowering politics. As a matter of fact, look at the elections that were held in France towards the end of last year. Emmanuel Macron was elected president on an impulse. He was elected in the grip of emotion and not at all on the basis of reason. Like it was being said, a man who was 38 years old, who had no political base, who was never elected before. That was a moment of madness for the French. And therefore, it can become difficult to put everything into place, even though one attempts to do so. It is thus important to know the right way to channelize these emotions. And emotion, it is a narration of a story. If we observe properly what it is actually the narrative of stories, it is like music, a song. Everything primarily narrates a story. If you see an advertisement, it is exactly like a song. It narrates a story. Earlier, it was very regimented because the story would be for about 30 seconds. It was extremely expensive. Therefore, we never had the time to narrate a story. It was necessary to quickly disseminate information, show the product and follow it up with an entertaining end. It used to be very quick. But now, Thankfully, due to social media, we can have some films which can run between two to three minutes. I feel it is a little too stretched because five minutes is a lot to watch on social media. Because by around two minutes, we get distracted, even though the cinematography may be exceptionally good. The point is that one and a half minute between one minute to two minutes can now be done. And this is the time of storytelling which the commercials never had before. Alors que le spot n'avait pas ce temps-là. Right. And finally, what is your story for Havas India? What is going to happen in Havas India? We have arrived. It is me who created the agency in India. That was 30 years ago. I can't remember exactly, but it never worked. We were not very successful. We were not present enough. 
we did not invest whilst the competitors, companies like WPP, Publicis, IPG, invested as the market demanded. Hava started with Vincent Bolore, who put everything into place and grew the company to reach where we have reached. Because Bolore is a rich group which is into long-term investment and decided to invest anew in India and advertising. And thus, our prioritized investment is India. Why? Because we think that India is the country of the future. We are behind in the 19th century and you are in the 21st century. Thus, as you know, we have already started and we have already made two investments. We have a new Indian Sigela. Yes, an Indian Sigela in Bobby Pavar. Maybe it's the new trend, a new boss who is equally fantastic. And his mission is that we become one of the top three creative agencies in three years. Because it needs time, of course. And then why not one day? Because WPP is going to have problems and I believe Publicis will too. Therefore, one day, why can't we become the first Indian agency associated with Indians? On ne serait pas la première agence indienne associée avec des Indiens. Thank you very much. Happy birthday to you again. Thank you. You're only 86, so we will see you back here when you're 87, 88, 89, 90. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And that was Jacques Segela in conversation with Anand Rangaswamy. Uh, we'll be taking a short break at this point. On the other side, we'll be speaking to Bobby Pawar. He's the Chief Creative Officer and Chairman at Havas India. Stay tuned. The kind of thing I wanted to do, what I did in Mudra and uh, Publicis, is a, to turn the place around, build culture, right? The other thing is to work across the group, across advertising, media, digital, experiential, and the companies that we acquire to build a culture that encourages collaboration and you know exploits the strengths of each sort of vertical to power the others right